Hello guys. We know that how curious human being is and how stars have fascinated him. Just imagine a child looking at the night sky and notice those twinkling objects. He knows that they are the stars since he has been told so by the grown-ups. But that doesn't suffice his wonder since the very nature of its being. The scintillating beauty of stars extends his curiosity for the unknowable and anonymous. This perspective is the motto of scientific discoveries. Curious minds have done many such discoveries. One such thing we are learning today is stellar parallax. The star shown in the screen is Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to the sun which is 4.2 light years away. The light from the star takes nearly 4 years to reach the earth. In simple terms, in the night sky, if you are watching this star, you are actually seeing the light emitted by it 4 years ago. How do we find such large distances of the stars? One of the methods used is stellar parallax. Parallax is the apparent movement of objects when viewed from different positions. That is, when you are traveling in a vehicle, you can see the trees appear as if moving backwards. That effect is nothing but parallax. We use this effect to find the distance of stars called stellar parallax. That is, as earth revolves around the sun, the distant stars show parallax. In astronomy, because of large distances, we cannot express it in terms of kilometers or miles. We use some other units. The first unit used is astronomical unit. One astronomical unit is the distance between the sun and the earth. That is 150 million kilometer. The second unit used is light year. One light year is the distance traveled by the light in one year. That is around 63,000 astronomical unit. That is 10 trillion kilometers. One more unit used is parsec. One parsec is 3.26 light years. I will define parsec at the end of this session. So let's see. How actually this is done? Consider this diagram. Here S is the position of the sun and this black line indicates the orbit of earth around the sun. E and E dash are the positions of earth in its orbit between a time interval of 6 months. X is the position of star whose distance has to be measured and the distance let it be small x. And our aim is to determine this distance x. The idea is that scientists use telescopes to focus on the star whose distance has to be measured. If they take the reading today, they have to wait for 6 months to take another reading so that there is a change in the position of earth. Correspondingly, there will be shift and shift in the position of star whose distance has to be measured and the shift or change is noted in terms of angles. The first observation is made in this position of earth. So you can draw a line here and the angle is noted theta 1. After the 6 months that is from here again the readings were taken and the angle is noted theta 2. By knowing theta 1 and theta 2, I can find this angle theta p and this is called parallax angle. And this of course is 90 degree. And this line from the sun divides theta p equally into two parts that is theta p by 2 theta p by 2 I can take theta pi p by 2 as simply theta now in the triangle 
एस ई डैश एक्स टैन टीटा इज ईक्वल टू ओपोजिट साइड डिवाइडेड बै अडजन दट इज वन ए यू बै एक्स मै एम इज टू डिटर्मी एक्स सो एक्स इज ईक्वल टू वन ए यू बै टैन टीटा For smaller angles, tan theta is nearly equal to theta, which implies x is equal to one by theta. Let me write this again: x is equal to one by theta. you can see here just by knowing one parameter that is theta we can find the distance of star x and the important thing is that theta we obtain in terms of arc seconds what is an arc second let me explain if i divide 1 degree into 60 equal parts i get 1 minute and I, if i divide 1 minute into 60 equal part i get 1 arc second so theta is in terms of arc seconds which is a very 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 small angle we have instruments to measure such small angles once it is done by substituting theta in terms of arc seconds we obtain distance x in parsec as i have stated earlier 1 parsec is equal to 3.26 light year let me define it so one parsec let me define one parsec it is a distance at which theta is one arc second that is parallax angle is one arc second for the nearest star proxima centauri parallax angle is 0.76813 arc seconds if i substitute here x is equal to 1 by 0.76813 that is 1.3018 to write parsec to write it in terms of light year i have to multiply with 3.26 i get 4. get 4.24 4 light year i am going to talk about advantages and disadvantages of this stellar parallax method in my next video till then keep looking up